One of the amazing custom ROMs has been updated to the latest security patch, of course, based on Android 16. I'm talking about Xeon AOSP custom ROM. This one is beta 4. This one is this one is beta 4. This one is version 2.0. Xeon OS 2.0. I'm talking about based on Android 16. This is one of the only few custom ROMs that brings you the vibes of nothing OS. Nothing OS style lock screen, lock screen clocks, widgets, and many, many more things. With this new update, we have some things related to quick settings panel, some changes and so on. New tiles like flashlight strength and volume tile is also there. Some things are just so good. How the flashlight tile works? As you can see, this is how it is working like. Uh, remember one thing that it is not actually 100% supported for every device. Like if your device has the support for this one, then it will work for you perfectly. And if it is not working, then you have some issues, but it's it's there. So just wanted to let you know. Also have this volume percentage, uh, volume control tile, which seems to be useful thing for some of the users, especially if your volume keys are broken, then this is a very, very useful thing available in this case. If you move on to special features, gesture section, you will notice that three finger screenshot gestures and three finger other gestures are already available there. But now we have this uh, three finger long press. So you can simply take a basically a small screenshot. This is a very useful thing to take an area screenshot. You can hold the three fingers and so on. Things are available in this case. We also have some performance related things available. A lot of things which you can enable or disable some things are obviously disabled by default. If you want to enable them, you can enable them manually by moving into the special features option. Some options related to security, for example, ignore Windows secure flags that's already present. We also have the option to hide app list and hiding the developer status. These options are present and for example, this hiding the developer options, it might be a useful thing because if you use banking apps, you need these sort of options and sometimes it works good. Sometimes it doesn't for some of the apps, but it shall be okay in this case. One of the things which I loved is this lock screen, which brings you nothing with style vibes, also the widget section and much more other things. Even the default launcher have a lot of tweaks available. It is a pulse launcher based on quick step, but not the similar customizations like some other custom rooms. Also the app drawer UI, if you are able to notice, a lot of things are inspired from nothing OS and also the widget section. A lot of widgets are here. For example, we have the quick setting widgets available there, quick setting tiles. So you can place them directly on your home screen to access like Wi-Fi, mobile data, torch and so on. So that is a very useful thing. We also have this battery tile available there. We also have photos widget and much more things available in this case. So yes, things are quite exciting in this case. Same goes with some customizations and features. If you move on to settings UI, you will notice a lot of things are available in this case. For example, sidebar, if you use it, it's available there. Some of the users might use this thing, some of you might not. So you can simply skip this thing. Game space is also available there. So it's not missing. Some features are so good. Experimental features, I've told you some security bypass and also the spoofing options are there. So also, if you're looking forward to play integrity fix, if you have a working key box, you can apply that directly straight away and you can use it. In case you do not have that, if you want to use some modules, you can do that. I made a video already some days ago, also today regarding the play integrity fix, the latest one, which is working fine, giving you three green ticks and you can test it on Xenos also. That should work for you in, in this case for sure. Everything else is just similar lock screen as I just told you so I have some options related to lock screen widgets. The UI, the widget picker UI is also quite exciting one as compared to some of the other AOSP custom rooms. This looks good. Power of verification is a very useful thing. So whenever you try to turn off your device, if you're into lock screen, you have to fill your lock screen password, then your device will be powered off. This is also really good. Accessibility permissions are there also have the option for this wallpapers and style where you have a lot of lock screen clocks inspired from nothing with many, many more things simply go and explore. It's available officially and unofficially for a few of the devices. So if you want to check this out, link is available in the description for now. This is it. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. If you like this, make sure to drop a like. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for many custom room videos like this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next.